I think in a, in a broader sense, I, I think what you would come away with would be that ETS has played a leadership role, both in the design and development of large-scale surveys of adults, um, probably going back 30 years or more. And um, by that I mean, I think we, when we did the first one, we introduced um, sort of the concept of literacy and, and how we thought it ought to be defined for adults going forward. Um, and by that I mean that we really shifted away from this notion of literacy equal reading. Um, for a long time, people thought of literacy as sort of a, a standard tied to schools, whether it was um, reading at a grade level, a particular grade level, whether it was being able to read school-based texts to, to more being able to process information in a variety of formats, whether it was sort of the traditional text base, whether it was more along the lines of what we call documents, which is sort of non-continuous prose, et cetera. So I think we, we broadened the concept and the construct of literacy, and so I think we brought that to the assessment. Um, <clears throat> we also brought new methodology uh, in terms of using IRT methods going forward. And I think the third thing we did was we really were instrumental in moving from paper and pencil to computer. So I think if you look at platform, if you look at the construct and the content, and, and you look at the methodologies, those have been the three things that have been evolving over time. And uh, I think ETS has played a, a strong leadership role in the design and development of those surveys. Mm -hmm.